Did you know that one of the longest rivers in the world, stretching more than 7,000 kilometers across South America, doesn't have a single bridge crossing it? That's right. The mighty Amazon River, often called the lifeline of the rainforest, has never been bridged. Today, we're diving deep into why this engineering marvel never happened, and whether it even should. The Amazon starts high in the Andes of Peru and winds its way east across Brazil before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean. At nearly 7,100 kilometers, it rivals the Nile as the longest river on Earth. But unlike the Nile or Mississippi, you won't find any bridges here. Instead, Brazilians rely on ferries, canoes, and long detours to cross. Width of Amazon River normally is about 1 to 10 kilometers, however, will reach up to 50 kilometers in rainy season. Flow of Amazon River is second to none, carrying more water than the next seven largest rivers combined. Environment here surrounded by the world's largest tropical rainforest. This isn't just a river. It's a moving, shifting giant, a natural barrier that dominates everything around it. So why not just build a bridge? The first problem is the river itself. During the rainy season, the Amazon swells dramatically. A section that looks like a manageable crossing in August could expand to nearly 50 kilometers wide by April. Imagine trying to build foundations in that. Soil instability. Beneath the Amazon, scientists discovered the Hamza River, a slow-moving underground river, making the ground even less stable. Flooding. Foundations could be washed away by seasonal changes. Wildlife and vegetation. Thick forests and swamps complicate construction. In simple terms, it's like trying to build a skyscraper on quicksand that floods every year. Unlike the Nile with Cairo, or the Mississippi with St. Louis and New Orleans, the Amazon River doesn't have massive cities along its banks. The Amazon Basin is home to millions of people, but spread thinly across a vast wilderness. Manaus is the largest city, right in the middle of the rainforest, but even it doesn't justify the billions of dollars it would take to build a bridge across the shifting river. Lack of highways, no demand for bridge connections, air and water transport dominate. Economically, it makes no sense to pour billions into infrastructure that only a fraction would use. The Amazon is more than a river. It's a natural border that's been shaping civilizations for thousands of years. Indigenous groups, explorers, and modern communities have always adapted to the river rather than trying to conquer it. The river acts as a giant moat, protecting biodiversity. Local adaptation, ferries, dugout canoes, river taxis. Ecological importance, construction could devastate ecosystems. Sometimes, nature sets boundaries that humans don't need to cross. Now let's play with the idea. Could an Amazon bridge even be possible? Technically, yes. Modern engineering has built record-breaking bridges longer and taller, but the Amazon poses challenges that make it unlike any other. Cost, tens of billions of dollars. Engineering would need floating or suspension designs spanning dozens of kilometers. Maintenance, impossible in a rainforest with flooding, erosion, and storms. Environmental backlash, likely global opposition. The only realistic scenario for bridges is near major cities, like Manaus or Belem, where the river narrows. But across the full Amazon, not likely. So instead of bridges, Brazilians rely on ferries, boats, and air travel. And maybe that's for the best. The Amazon rainforest is the lungs of the earth. It's home to more species than anywhere else. Trying to tame it with bridges would change the region forever. Local resilience, river transport culture, global importance. The Amazon is better off unbroken. The Amazon River isn't bridged because it doesn't need to be. Between its immense size, unstable ground, constant flooding, low population density and ecological importance, bridges just don't make sense. Instead, the river remains wild, free and untamed. A reminder that not everything in nature needs human control. Sometimes, the greatest engineering feat is knowing when to leave something alone. 